Light that flame, put on that oven, put that apron on, and let's get cooking. Hi, welcome to Fryer Chef. It is the Saturday after Thanksgiving, and personally speaking, I am still full. I don't know about you guys. That was a fabulous Thanksgiving dinner. You should be full. I was watching you eat. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a Saturday after Thanksgiving. Frank did a fabulous job cooking uh, the Thanksgiving oh, dinner. Oh, it was wonderful. And so now, this is what happens on this Saturday afterwards. Here we go. So what we're going to do today, we're going to do Thanksgiving curry. So we have some leftover turkey and some vegetables. Is it one of those dishes that only takes about maybe 15 minutes tops to cook? Really? Yeah. So everything's like sauteed pretty fast. Is this like a sauce that you're going to yeah, use? It, 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 it becomes a sauce. Oh. So, so what do you put it on? So on rice. Or pasta? Yes, you can put it on pasta. See? Whoa! Oh, I love okay, that my sound. Girl. I love this, don't you? Yeah. Oh! That's my favorite, bell peppers. Oh, God. Was that onions? Yeah. Onions and red bell peppers. And now you put more pepper in. Yeah. A little bit. Oh, my God. It smells yeah. delicious, doesn't it? Okay. Now, do you put garlic in there, too? Garlic and be ginger. Combination of spices. Are there certain things that always go in curry? There's all, it changes. Every area is different. Jamaican curry, you might have uh, Sri Lankan curry is different. Every, it's just, it's just different combinations. Wow. Of food. So what was the name of this curry? It's just Frank's Thanksgiving curry. Yes, Frank's, Frank's Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving curry. Yeah. Oh. You know, Michael, this could go on pasta easily. Garlic. There's the old garlic. Throw that garlic in. Minced ginger. Minced. Oh, wow. Everybody uses garlic. You gotta. That really looks very nice. Doesn't it? Is that the same kind of base you had for the chili that we had? Yeah. Ah. What's that? It's a turmeric and there's curry. There's a coriander. And they said, it's supposed to be uh, cayenne pepper, but someone doesn't like hot pepper. That would be me. Yeah, so I couldn't do the hot peppers. This is the curry. You always put the dry spice in, never put it in when it's wet, because it, it, won't, uh, it won't combine. So you always put the dry spice in first. Don't let, only cook it for about a minute or two, just to get the, the fragrance, and then add your liquids. Oh, I didn't know that. You can yeah. smell it already, Yeah, you know? So you're just using the dry spice to like coat everything. Yeah. I knew that because of being a chef, you know? Yeah, well, I mean, ex I expected you to know that. Now Wait. the turkey. Oh. Wow. So what's that? Beef chicken stock. Chicken stock. There's, a, there's your, so this is your gravy, that's yeah. your sauce. Look at that. How long does it cook? It only took us for a few minutes, is it? Like what, five? Yeah, it's there. Oh, that smells so good. It really does. Now what goes in next? Yeah, we're gonna put in the cornstarch. Just make a bit of a slurry. Uh, a slurry? Oh, yeah, What's yeah. a slurry? Slurry is just cornstarch or flour, a thickening agent. Thickens. So. You remember that, that it thickens. Yeah, I think you I saw that? that. Yeah, the it's slurry. A, it's yeah. slurry. And it's you slurry. can put it in, in uh, with vodka, I think. And you can you? slurry <laughs> it up, too, if you want to. <laughs> yeah. That's good. And when it, that thickens it up? Yeah. yeah. Just that little bit? Yeah. A little bit more stock. 
Fuck yeah. Put, put a lot of stock because if there's anything left over and we have pasta, that one will throw it on. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. I'm just sitting here thinking, I mean, wonder what kind of pasta I could put with that. Oh. Maybe uh, rigatoni. I love yeah. rigatoni. A couple more minutes and then we'll... And we're going to put it on this rice? Yep. You can use rice, you can use... Uh, like pasta. Of pasta. Pasta. Noodles. Pasta. And, and potatoes actually is good too. Oh, I bet. Rigatoni. Pasta. <laughs> Subscribe. Just a little bit, Frank. That's it. Oh. Do you have a spoon, Mike? Yep. I got this nice fork. Oh, look at that. Wow. Mm. Thank you. Mmm. You need coconut milk to it also, which would be great. And so they're going to give it another consistency. Oh, so. wow. So it's, uh, it's a good base to go on. So. That is delicious. Wow. Mm. The things you can do with turkey. Right? You can do the same with chicken. You can do this actually with shrimp, with seafood. It'd be great with cod. I think it'd be wonderful. Halibut or whatever. Yeah. You know, so it's, it's just one of those dishes that takes 15 minutes at the most. You know, so your prep can be done the night before. Come home from work. Do this. Done. Another weekend after Thanksgiving just for you to do. I'm sure you're gonna love it. Remember, subscribe. What do we have to say about subscription? Subscribe, uh, subscribe, <laughs> subscribe. And stay tuned for our commercial about the Franciscan store. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. Uh, Michael, what are you going to get me and Frank for Christmas? What am I going to get you? Well, I'll get you a cookbook. <laughs> <laughs> what? Look, he starts laughing every time he talks about me cooking. And then, Michael, what do you think I should cook with the book? <laughs> every. <laughs> well, I have some ideas. Can I show you? Yeah. Okay. Well, as you know, we have our Franciscan store. And so... Now, I'd like to do a little bit of a commercial to see what some of you might think about these products we have. The Franciscan Store, simply go online and put in the Franciscan Store and you will find a variety of wonderful products that you can purchase for loved ones, like Michael can pick for me and Frank. We have things like this St. Nicholas Christmas mm. bracelet. There's also this bracelet here, which is like a manger Christmas bracelet. Isn't that nice? And then we have uh, a Christmas rosary which is also really beautiful with the red beads. And then we have a variety of other little stocking stuffers. This is a beautiful book about the San Damiano cross that was written by one of our friars. And also a variety of cards that you might want to give to loved ones. This one is from our candle series. I lit a can Christmas candle for you. And it's, uh, you know, it says that we're praying for an individual, especially at Christmas time. This is really nice for someone uh, that you just want to send a greeting to, or someone who maybe is in difficult times during Christmas. And then, of course, we have the famous St. Anthony Bread for the Poor card that you can give uh, a donation in a loved one's name, uh, which helps us with our work for the poor. And then, this. Beautiful statues of St. Francis and St. Anthony. Now, you may be saying, where's the baby? Here's the baby, and the baby goes right in here like that. Oh, isn't that clever? Isn't that cool? So there's a variety of products that we are uh, that we have on sale at the Franciscan store, and that we hope that you will join us for Christmas. 
shop until you drop, as we say, because all of the proceeds go to support the work of the Franciscan Friars with the Poor. So please support us as you always do. Thank you very much.